Hi, my name is Megan, and I want to speak for Maddie and for anyone else living a story similar to hers. I want to thank Kate and Little Brown and Company for bringing Maddie's story to life and for continuing the conversation on student-athlete mental health. I remember first reading Maddie's story online on ESPNW when I was a freshman in college, and I remember just feeling this pit in my stomach because I felt like I could relate to some of her struggles that I was experiencing as a student athlete myself. Um, I do want to say that I am very grateful for the opportunity I had to play Division I lacrosse and for the support I received from my team and my family. But with that opportunity came its own unique challenges. And one thing I learned is that no amount of physical training or no advice can prepare you for the demands of being a student athlete and being in that competitive atmosphere and environment all the time. Um, like Maddie, I began to struggle mentally and emotionally during my freshman year, and I didn't know where to turn. Um, for almost two years, the stigma surrounding mental health kept me quiet. I was afraid to speak out because I had adopted these ideals that, you know, I was supposed to be mentally tough and refrain from showing any signs of weakness. And I was just supposed to put my head down and keep going no matter how I felt. Um, you know, even when I thought that I couldn't. And Eventually, after two years, I decided to quit the lacrosse team. I had lost a lot of the motivation and the passion that I once had for this sport that I had loved for so long. And, you know, during that time, I began thinking, you know, I just can't do this anymore. I am not happy something has got to give. And, you know, it wasn't until after I had quit that I began being honest with others and reached out to ask for help. And that moment was the most terrifying and uncomfortable experience. experience. But it was also the most freeing and... I would encourage anyone else to do the same. Um, you know, asking for help is something that I still struggle with, and it's not easy, but I guarantee you it is worth it because it does get better, and you realize that you can't do it alone. Um, I also want to say that you don't have to fake it until you make it. I don't know how many times I had heard that phrase, playing sports, but whatever you're feeling is valid and it is worthy of being felt and shared with others. You don't have to pretend. And it's okay to admit that you need help because that's why we're all here. Because let's be honest, none of us have it together and that is completely okay. Thank you for listening.